Good morning friends. Today we are going to present on the data types in GIS. Data is one of the basic important component in GIS where we, we can say about 80% task is going to be completed if we are collecting the data properly. So we need to understand which type of data is used in GIS and uh, when we are going to use the data, what is it useful or which type of data is need to be collected. So data is basically a collection of facts and figures about an object area of phenomenon. The International Organization of for Standardization has organized a technical con commission on geographic introduction that are responsible for the data quality and metadata. So, with, uh, based on our, the data sources, we have classified the data in GIS. One is primary data, and the second one is the secondary data. Primary data. Primary data refers to the data that are collected directly on the first hand basis, like census data. This is a primary example of the primary data because we are collecting at the first time. So these are not useful by the other person. When it is it is useful used by the by any other person or the the data that will be collected with some, someone else or some th third party. Then it is known as the segregated data. So in GIS basically, we are using the geographically reference data. Geographically reference data, that is the, the data that describes what the location and characteristics of the patient. Geographically reference data. So, geographical reference data describe of the location and characteristics of the special features. So, this geographical reference data is classified into the spatial data. Special data. Special data described about the absolute and relative location of the geographic features. Absolute and relative location. Absolute location. That means when we are going to identify the location based on its latitude and longitude. Suppose, for example, the location of a well, the location of a school, the location of a building. These are the example of the absolute data. Whereas relative data is described about the location 
that to be assigned based on the geographical framework. For example, the school is located 100 meter away from the road. This is a relative location. So this spatial data is also categorized into two data. One is the continuous data and another is the discrete data. Right? This discrete data that means the features that are not existed between observations. That we can say, suppose ponds, we can say administrative building, where is continuous data, like pressure, like elevation. Why it is continuous? Because these are specially exist between two viewing points. Like the for elevation, there is a fixed point being the sea level. So this is a continuous data. Now going to the attribute data. Attribute data, it is also known as the non-spatial data. Or also known as the aspatial data. This data is contain the characteristics of the special features. And these characteristics, it may be the qualitative or quantitative. That may be the qualitative or quantitative. So this attribute data that can be stored in the JS platform in different way because there are number of types of data that we can use in JS like it may be the text type, it may be in teaser, it may be decimal it may be the date or time or it may be the binary large object like multimedia storage of geometry of the special features etc so these attribute data based on their characteristics or based on their use for we can classify it into the nominal data, ordinal data, interval data and the ratio data. Nominal data, it defines the different categorical data like characteristics of the land use suppose these regions having the different characteristics of land use pattern like built up dense forest river etc so these are the characteristics of the nominal data Ordinal data that can be discriminate the data by ranking report. For example, in India we are classified the cities like this is a large city, the medium 
create small cities. So there is a basic ranking characteristics. Interval data. Here, the data have known intervals between the values of the variables. Like we can say the twenty degree centigrade is warmer than ten degree centigrade. Right. So there is a intervals between the values of a of these two variables. And finally the ratio data. This ratio data is the same as the interval data, excluding the, the, the that is based on the reliant upon the a meaningful or absolute or zero value, like population density. Right? Population density. So this data is lined up in a meaningful or absolute zero value. Now the question is that how we can enter this data into the GIS because in GIS system there is some different basic file format and we can input this data into the different way or what are the basic system to input this data into the JS platform. Because there are different sources that the data that we can collect it from the survey that we can collect it from the uh, satellite imagery that maybe we can collect the data from different types of secondary sources so there are lot of sources of the collection of the GIS data so now the question is that how we can input this GIS data first is the keyboard entry By entering into the data in a computer terminal, we can put into the JS platform. Next is the coordinate geometry, that is the survey data. Coordinate geometry. When we are going to survey, like through DGPS or like uh, total station. We are recording the coordinate and we can directly input this data into the JS platform. Digitizing from the existing map. It is also one of the way to entering the data into the JS platform. There are different types of digitizing process like heads of digitizing and uh, also tabular digitizing. So, based on the digitization from the paper map or the hard copy map, we can entering the data into the GIS. Fourth is the scanning. Through scanning, we can convert it the analog data into JS into the digital data. The input existing from the other sources. Like there are different types of data available in the website or from other else. So we can collect the data and we can 
and you check the data or re modify the data and it can be also converted into the uh, the required file format into the js database and entering into the js platform thank you thank you for watching this video please subscribe this video